I'm going to show you how to link values in cells in your worksheet to values that come from a website. Now the reasons that you might want to do this are completely up to you, but it'll allow you to have near real-time updates. And for the example that I'm going to be using in this video, I'm going to be assuming that we have some assets that we're tracking. Uh, we have a, a portfolio that includes a couple of cryptocurrencies and a couple of precious metals, silver, and gold. Now, normally what I would do if I had my spreadsheet set up this way, and again, the scenario here is, is, you know, yes, there are some websites that allow me to track all of this, but I don't want to give them my information. I don't want to uh, put in my email addresses and have them spamming me all the time here. So I'm just going to keep track of this on my own. So normally what I would have done, if this I have a little bit of Bitcoin, a little bit of Ethereum here, and a little bit of silver, a little bit of gold, is I would go up to the website, I'd look at the price, and I'd put in the new price. Well, using the get data from the website, I'm actually going to be able to link this to a specific website. And as the value changes, or as I tell uh, Excel to change that value, when I open up the worksheet, it'll change as well. Then it will update with the most current value. Now, the most important thing for this to work is to find a website that has the values that you're looking for laid out in a table format. So I have a couple of examples here. I have a nice uh, cryptocurrency site here. I'm going to go ahead and go into that particular site. And just to show you how it's laid out here, this gives us our, okay, there's our crypto prices here. This is what I'm using for my crypto site. It's uh, Gemini.com. Whatever website you use is up to you. Uh, realize that one of the dangers of this is if I point to a specific website, that website could always change. So I may have to update uh, my websites later. Notice that this is laid out in nice rows uh, in, in a table format. And that's going to be actually the key to being able to do this. And I have also have another site that I'm working with here for my precious metals. Uh, notice that it does the same thing. It gives me the uh, spot gold, spot silver in a nice table format. So that's going to work perfectly for what I need. So once I've got my websites figured out, I can then go in and tell Excel to use these websites and bring in these values from those websites to update my prices and uh, multiply by my quantity and give me a total. And just to go over the formulas real quick, uh, my, my total is simply my quantity times the current price and my total portfolio value just sums up all the values here, the total values. Okay, so I'm going to start with the crypto. I'm going to go ahead and delete the values that I've got here now because they're worthless to me because I'm having to been having to type those in myself again and again and again. So I'm going to start by going to this particular website here. And so I'll go into that website. I'll copy it and that's important and I you know I could do that from the address bar of the website but to here I've actually had it so I'll just copy it from here. Okay, once I've got that copied into my clipboard, I'm going to go into the Data tab. And from the Data tab, notice that there is a tool here that says From Web. So I'll go ahead and click on From Web. All right, now it says go ahead and give me the URL. So I'll paste in the crypto prices. I'll click OK. This takes just a minute while it reconnects here. All right, how long that connection takes depends on uh, your internet speed, of course. Now, from this particular website, I've ended up with four suggested tables. Now, to figure out which table I want, I'm going to go ahead and click on each table. It'll show me, okay, we've got Bitcoin and Ether. This actually looks like the table that I want. It's got Bitcoin, so I know clearly that's what it is. And it's also got the price, uh, the 97,129.69 currently right now. All right, this is the table that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click Load. And when I click Load, Microsoft Excel will actually create a new tab. And again, it takes just a few minutes to bring all the data in. Okay, once I have that data, I'm also going to, just going to change the name of this. I'm going to call this Cryptos so I don't get confused. I have to bring in each website one at a time, and that will bring in two different uh, tabs, one for Cryptos and one for my metals. Okay, so now I've got a cell that I can refer to. That cell is cell D4, excuse me, D2 on the Cryptos tab. So I'll go back to my Assets tab. And I have the current price of Bitcoin. Now, what I want it to do is I want it to grab that value from that other tab. So I start with equals. I'll click on the cryptos tab. And then I'll just click on D2, the value for Bitcoin. Press enter. And there I have it. All right, I'm going to do the same thing for the Ethereum. Click. 
with an equals, click on cryptos, bring in the ether price of 3442. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bring in now, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the prices for the gold and the silver. So I have another website here that I've already located. We already showed you that it's in the table format. So I'll go ahead now and I'll go back to data and I'll go back to from web and I will bring in this one. So I paste in the URL, click OK. We wait a few minutes. All right, once the tables are up again, I have to figure out which table I want. I click the first table, and that does not quite look friendly enough to me. So I'm not going to use that table. I'll go down to table two. Oh, that's a nice simple table. I will use table two. So I found the table that I want. I go ahead and click load. Wait a minute or two now for it to bring in the data. All right, now I have the table of gold and silver, which is exactly what I want. So I'm going to go back to, well, first I'm going to go ahead and change the name of this to metals so that I don't get confused. I'll go back to my assets. We'll bring in silver equals point to metals, point to the current price of silver. Go down to gold ounces equals point to metals. And the price of gold, okay. Now, the cool thing here, though, is that I told you that it was near real time. Now, depending on your internet connection, uh, and especially with something as volatile as, as uh, Bitcoin, uh, you know, your prices are not going to be real time. So, so don't really count on this as something that you can use to trade, uh, you know, minute by minute. But let's go ahead and go back into cryptos here for just a second. I want to show you a couple of options here. So I'm going to go back into the table. I'm going to go back to the data tab. And I'm going to click on Refresh All. If I click on Refresh All, uh, that actually refreshes everything. So by doing that and then taking a minute or two for it to wait, you can see over here it's bringing in Table 1 and Table 3. It'll take just a second here. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and click on the Refresh Options. So if I show you, if I click on Refresh All and I click on Connection Properties, I have some options that I can actually turn on here now. Notice that I have an option to refresh every 60 minutes, 10 minutes, 15, whatever I want. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at 60. Here's the important thing, though. Notice that I have the option to refresh the data when opening the file. So if I save this and close it and open it up tomorrow, it'll automatically refresh the data based on whatever the current price is as of the minute that I open it up. OK, I'll click OK here. Now that only changed the refresh options for the cryptos table. I go out to do the same thing for metals. So I'll click on the metals table as well and go to connection properties, turn on the refresh every 60 seconds and refresh when opening the file. I'll go ahead and click OK. Now I'll go back to my assets. Now, if things had changed in the prices um, between the time I put this in and the time I did the refresh, we would actually see that change here. I'm going to go ahead and close this queries and connections just so that it doesn't get in my way here. OK, so again, I could click Refresh All at any time that I want to refresh. Again, depending on the complexity of what you're bringing in um, and how fast your, your uh, web connection is, internet connection is, this could actually take a little bit of time. Well, to show you again how it works for opening the file, I'm going to go ahead and close this file. You open up a worksheet that has uh, data from a website the first time, you'll get a couple of security warnings. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click Enable Content. And then I'll also get a, a security warning again, says, is this a trusted document or a trusted website? I'm going to go ahead and answer yes. And from that point forward, I won't have to worry about that each and every time I open up the document. All right, so now you've seen how easy it is to actually get values in your cells that link to uh, websites for updating uh, prices or just about anything else that you'd want to do. And uh, if you like this video, please consider liking it. Please consider subscribing, and you can find step-by-step -step instructions, many other videos uh, on my YouTube site, of course, but also on my website, luthermaddy.com. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video.